Want to make a 3D game with GameMaker? Just use these three simple scripts and you'll be on your way in no time. This is Backspace Cadet and today I'm here to show you how. Take Noom for example. Noom uses a clever combination of 2D and 3D to pull off this stunning aesthetic. This video is going to break down the so-called complicated code for you and save you a lot of headache. So, I'm just going to briefly go over this. Here are some of the sprites that I've created. I'm just going to skim through some of this so that you can see what I have. Here is the first script, scr underscore depth underscore 3D. Basically, what this is doing is this is setting the draw or how the character is going to look either in front or behind objects based upon where the camera is rotated. So if you put this script into every object, then it will be drawn correctly on the screen. Now we move on to script number two. Essentially, this is a script that I borrowed from Heartbeast. I will leave a description in the comments below with this video. And finally, we move on to the third script. This is really easy. This is what you're going to want to use for your 2D images so that they appear to be 3D. Now I'm just going to open up the objects here. I have a collision parent, and all of the collidable objects are children of this object. Now I'm using physics in this example, and all that I'm doing is giving this a collision with itself so that all objects collide in the physics world. Now if you'll notice in my player, here, I'm just setting the global.z and a few other things, calling the scripts right here as we looked at before, and then in the draw, I'm calling the draw sprite 3D script. And here, I've used left and right to rotate the camera or the global Z, and I'm using WASD to move the character in the four directions while also flipping it from left to right with image X scale. This is just an emergency game end and the collision parent because it is a child of the collision parent. Now notice, here are the collision values, and then moving on to the 2D obstacle, just calling the scripts, uses physics, and now I'm going to show you the collision shape. All of these objects are going to have the collision shape at their base. Moving on to the next, calling the scripts here, just like the last time, but a little bit differently, and here's the collision shape. Now I just have the camera following the player in a smooth way, just to look a little bit nicer. If you don't have this, it might look a little, a little bumpy. And finally, moving on to the room, I have my objects placed in the room. And if you'll notice, here in the room properties, if I go down here, here's the size, I have the views enabled, view zero, here are the numbers that I've used here following the camera. And moving on to the room physics, I have physics enabled, no gravity, because this is technically a top-down. And here's one final look. If you'd like to see another video with a more in-depth explanation, please leave a comment below requesting so. Consider subscribing for related content. Every subscription helps this channel grow. If you have any tutorial requests, questions, or even if you just want to chat, feel free to comment below. Please consider giving a like if you found this video helpful. But in the meantime, that's going to be it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.